Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm releasing my first ever batch of frags for sale at Deer Park Aquarium. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reese, and I apologize up front for the smile on my face. I'm super excited because uh, about eight weeks ago, I hand cut a number of frags off some of my favorite colonies in the tank, and they've just been slowly encrusting away, and today is the day they are finally ready to take into Deer Park Aquarium for sale to you guys, all of my viewers, and I'm super, super excited about it. I've hand selected some very premium and favorite pieces from the tank, which will be available for sale, so I'll take Take you through what I've got on hand, but I figured while I'm there introducing them into the tanks ready for the day's sale, I may as well give you a little bit of a tour of the store because um, from all words, Dave has got some cracking stock in. So um, I guess it's time to bag up these corals or container them up in my case and uh, head on up the highway. We'll get these frags in the tank and then I'll show you what's in store. Let's do it. All right, here's the first container of frags. You can see we've got two Walt Disney in there, a beautiful fork frag of a cherry bomb in there looking absolutely gorgeous with the green, the pink, and that nice little yellow on the tip. Then I've got two blue stags and then just one assorted green and purple acro, which uh, does grow nice and fast. And you can see how beautiful they're looking in there. I'm very happy on the color of these frags, particularly the cherry bomb. I think it's really colored up really nicely on my frag rack and I think it's gonna make a really nice addition. But of course, Walt Disney's fairly, uh, fairly timeless as well. But I do have two more containers of frags to go. This one here has got probably the prize possession out of the lot. Definitely the most expensive, unfortunately, in the uh, Space Invaders Pectinia. Got three decent sized frags of that and then two just assorted uh, blue acros that I've had in the tank that a few people have asked for. But the um, you can see the colors on the Space Invader Pectinias are uh, about as bright as it gets, really. The fluoro green with the fluoro yellow eyes really stands out and um, they grow quite quickly too once settled. And then last but not least, I'm very proud as well. I know I'm proud of all of them. I guess they're all my babies, but these are three PC rainbow frags. I actually gave them a heck of a lot more light on the frag rack than I do in my tank and it really made the green and yellow pop through where in lower light, I was mostly getting just red. So they look really awesome too, but it's uh, time to take them in store. So here we are, it is Deer Park Aquarium. And I figured while we're here, I'll give a full store tour. You can see Dave's been a busy, busy boy. He's got a heap of stock here, including a shipment from Ultra Coral Australia, which we'll get to soon. But let's have a look at the dry goods while we're here. There's a good assortment, all the salad test kits, plenty of two little fish items including these uh, pouch feeders and replacement pouch feeders Julian's things there as well as some other uh, coral feeders and his little scraper as I said we've got lots of uh, ocean nutrition foods there a decent assortment of Tunzi pumps back in stock including the uh, ever popular 9001 skimmer still the only nano skimmer that I think is actually worth its weight it does something it actually pulls skim out you can see we've got some CCAM pumps there we've got uh, plenty of continuum there some chemi pure battery backups there's kelkwasser there's some traps here both the uh, smalls and larges there to catch some fish sea torch little calcium reactor sea torch sump little uh, CCAM skimmer there Plenty of uh, other assorted things like your nets and other bits and pieces, of course. Good assortment of the Carib Sea Rock, plenty of frozen. And at last, there are some water box nano tanks. Got the Cube 10, Cube 20, Cube 25 there. Some salt, of course. Plenty of Aquaforest goodies over here. All of their uh, assorted pieces. Got the Dr. Tim's. Plenty of Hannah checkers and various bits and pieces in there. You can see we've got these uh, Frag Mate Frag kits here. And I thought they were fairly fitting considering this is a bit of a frag episode. And of course, I still get arcs to this day do i use aquaforest life source in my display tank and to answer that yes i do i love this stuff you can see there's plenty of the uh, reef factory items up there from the lights from the kh testers the pumps the doses the meters ai pumps and lights there and mounts also the ecotech range of course from their uh, pumps to their lights see a couple of kh guardians some top offs and of course no shortage of plumbing now I've just popped a filter on the camera because I want to show you the display tank that they've set up here in this beautiful Aqua One system here. Have a look at the hammers that he's just casually popped in here. They look absolutely gorgeous under the uh, reef factory blue light that he's got in there. And um, you can see there it is mounted up there looking an absolute treat. And um, I must admit the corals do give a slightly different color under different lights. And um, the ones in here, despite the fact that this tank desperately needs a clean, the hammers look absolutely gorgeous under there, particularly the uh, golds and the models. So um, 
yeah, if you're in the market for a new light, maybe check out the Reef Factory units. But uh, let's head on install because I want to show you where the uh, frags that I've put in tank oh, in the display tanks are. And um, here they are. No, they're not $60 each, unfortunately, but they are in with the $60 SPS. And you can see the frags have all settled in very nicely indeed. So um, I'm really keen to move those this weekend and get them into some new homes from the high-end ones to some of the more basic ones. But uh, while we're here, well, we have a quick little look from the top down, of course. But while we're here, let's have a look at the SPS because um, there's some really nice stuff in. Have a look at some of these pieces, the uh, golds, the pinks, the greens, the stags, the tables, fuegos, smooth skins. So many crazy, crazy pieces. That one there, absolutely stunning. The real yellow with blue tips on it. Very, very nice indeed. Um, down along the bottom here, look at this uh, lovely, I like this uh, smooth skin green there. That's um, very close to a piece that we saw in Ernie's tank uh, that I reviewed not long ago. Some lovely tabling pinks there. Another nice uh, yellow with blue polyps up there. Really solid assortment of SPS. And there's even more over in this system here. We've got some uh, high-end chalice in there. One beautiful croquet of clam left. Some of the uh, high-end scollies. Big showpiece trachophilia. Got some nice torch there, some more trachophilia, some more basic trachophilia. And then uh, when we have a look on the top here, let's have a look. We've got some uh, big gonies, some uh, nice big dash there. In fact, a couple of nice big dash. Uh, beautiful uh, reddy, orangey fungia there. And of course, the gigantic helio fungia. On the end here, we've got some absolute bargain basement uh, frags there, $25 each, three for 60 or six for 100. And then uh, next to them, some not so bargain Hedoni Nems, but uh, the red Hedoni and the blue Hedoni, absolutely reduced to clear. And in fact, I'd be hard pressed to take one and not the other. They look so cool together. But there is even more SPS to check out. In fact, a couple of tanks worth of them, as well as a beautiful pair of clowns here. These guys look like, uh, I'm gonna go with some storms. Beautiful pieces, and then uh, the nice rass and a little angel down under there as well. Dave's hiding away, but uh, let's have a look at the SPS because uh, there's some cranking pieces in here. It's a good assortment of colors. These are some pretty big colonies, I have to say. Still $60 a piece. Really nice uh, smooth green there. You can see a nice, uh, it looks like a nice green slimer stag there. A couple of nice reds, some millies. That uh, red piece there is quite nice indeed. I like the uh, smooth sort of aqua one to the side of it as well. And then uh, over into the uh, Philips Coral Care system, you see that big green stag there looking an absolute treat. Real nice assortment of colonies along here. Real, real good variety, actually. I'm quite surprised that um, just the different species of colors. This uh, Monty on the corner of this frag looks quite nice too. Nice Monty Pora Donay. Very nice coloration indeed. Um, you can see some nice pink bird's nest in there. Not something I've seen for a while. Uh, but that big stag, wow, what a showpiece that is. That's a uh, big piece of 60 bucks and um, it's going to look beautiful in someone's tank. Coming around the corner here, we've got an absolute steal of a tank. Dave wants to empty this system out so we can uh, give it a refurb and uh, get some new corals in there. So we're talking $15 each, three for 30, six for 50 or everything in the tank for uh, 300 bucks. And when you actually count them, there's quite a lot of pieces in there. So um, if you are looking to set up maybe a little fragging operation or you just want to fill a tank out pretty quickly, this could be a pretty cool way to go. You've got a huge assortment in there from uh, SBS, Chalice, uh, Sun Corals, all sorts. But uh, if you are looking for something a little bit more exotic have a look at some of these recordias beautiful high-end recordias there nice wild zoa rock there looks like a uh, lobo a couple of uh, other pectinias if you don't quite want to spend what the uh, space invader pectinia is you can grab a little colony some of these hammers are absolutely gorgeous i'll see if we can see them from the top down yeah that shows the colors just that little bit better there really like the uh, reverse there the solid green's quite nice as well Beautiful, beautiful pieces indeed. And you can see those uh, Lobos and Zoa rocks. A couple of clouds in there too on the recordias up the end. But have a look at the hammers crammed along the top here. Dave obviously uh, wants to fit as many hammers as he can per square foot there. There's some absolute treasures. Plus a really nice, good variety of uh, gonies as the clowns just jump from one side of the tank to the other to create a little ripple for us. But um, we can still see the corals through there. So uh, better luck next time, clowns. And then over in this system, we did actually have a 
trio, a wild court trio of Oki clowns, which was really, really pretty cool. But uh, they have been sold, and uh, the Ultra Magnifica is still there. And I do love the full long extensions of uh, Magnifica Nems. But if you want something slightly shorter or a little bit finer, have a look at the Gigantia uh, anemones in here. We've got a beautiful, uh, this one's a greeny colored one, a real nice size. And uh, if we have a look at the one next to him, this guy has just come, uh, come in, and he's a big blue gig super cool piece not under the best lighting to really show his colors to be honest this is the uh, invert wall which doesn't really have coral lights over it to make those colors pop but uh, I assure you of getting him under some nice lights he's going to color up an absolute treat and then in this system there there's some nems there's some clowns there's some more clowns here we'll get back to the rest of the corals in a second but while we're here let's have a look at the fish there's some uh, I'm pretty sure they're captive bred royal grammars good assortment of captive bred clowns a beautiful uh, marginal butterfly in there. Got some hermit crabs. Got a big, uh, big uh, green uh, star there. I'm not sure if he's a predator star or not. I'd have to double check on that. Uh, looks like a corkscrew in them um, and a nice Picasso pair of clowns. Very, very nice indeed. Along the top, there's plenty of uh, snails, all sorts of varieties from Strombus, Trochus. I think there's even some turbos in store, some more uh, clowns. Big popular item, the clowns, obviously, and um, they're always a stable fish for a good uh, first fish in your reef tank. In this is, to me, something a little bit different. Beautiful uh, sea apple and a uh, whole swarm of red line cleaner shrimp in there. I love the way they're just hanging on that um, sea apple, something a bit different. And there's some seahorse at the end as well. But uh, let's get back to the corals because um, we're only halfway through the corals. I want to make sure you see them all. We're onto the $60 tanks here or three for $150 Australian. Nice big elegance up there. In fact, a good assortment to pick from. A couple of those are quite large. There's some of your more basic chalice there or just chalice waiting to color up, to be honest. I quite like that um, A-can up the back there, the orange and green, real contrasty. Some really nice Duncans in there as well with that super toxic green. A couple of Favias, some more Pectinias. Uh, we've got uh, some nice uh, leathers there. I can see a good assortment of Blastos down the bottom. In fact, they look like they're still just opening those Blastos, but they're going to be a pretty cool little assortment there. You can pick up a few different pieces there to create a nice little Blasto garden. A couple of Gonies, and then uh, this looks like some... Uh, uh, some clove polyps I think up the end there and the non-fireworks one the standard clove polyps which I think would give a really cool contrast to uh, the firework uh, clove polyps over to the next system you can see a nice little bubble coral there some monties I quite like uh, the look of this thing here I don't actually know what it is but that bright green growth rim is really cool uh, we've got some lobos some basic hammers um, nice little assortment there you can see some favias up the top some chalice a uh, really nice little assortment, actually. Again, these are only $60 corals, so um, not expensive at all. Some nice uh, pavona there. If you're looking for an orange coral, it doesn't get much brighter than orange pavona. But uh, we'll come across here to the $90 system. Got a nice, uh, quite like that Rhodactus rock in there. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, oh, sorry, $80 system. I'm trying to uh, upsell you. <laughs> it's only $80 a piece. Some nice, uh, I'm going to say Lobo. I know there's a few different varieties, but let's call them Lobo for now. Good assortment of Acans down there. Some Chalice. I quite like that little orange lobo at the back there. Some nice softies there. The pops are closed at the moment, but uh, well, one of them's starting to open. I do love it when uh, soft corals open up their polyps and you get that real nice wavy motion. Uh, some nice uh, favias or favites up the top there. We've got the uh, rhodactus morph, some chalice. Nice little assortment there. Over to the next system, it steps up a bit. We go to $200 a piece or uh, three for 500. And um, I gotta say, there's some absolutely show-stopping hammers in here. Some really, really uh, exotic colors for, if, I know $200 is not cheap, but uh, there's some really nice ones here. Check out that uh, reverse back there. That's something special. Very, very nice long extension with very, very bright green uh, polyps on it. Nice assortment of scollies up there as well. Still talk of scollies not being collected anymore. I'm not going to buy into the hype of whether that's true or not, but um, there's a possibility we won't see them much at all in the future. There's some even more recordia uh, along the uh, base of this nano tank here. Some very high-end ones, some more basic ones. A couple of uh, basic frags in this uh, $35 nano here, including a good assortment of zoas. But uh, over the back here onto $120 systems, we're just about seeing out the end of the corals. Got a nice, uh, I'm pretty sure we've got some bower bankies there. Um, a big pectinia, I do like that one there. It is real contrasty with the purple and green. Cool growth pattern. Uh, it looks like a nice little, little sonai assortment there. It looks like a frag of a deshi. Um, some torch, I like a little bubble coral too. Some gigantic goniaporas. Um, some frog spawns there, which is cool to see. I haven't seen a lot of frog spawns of late. And uh, some 
In between Hammers Long the Top here, this uh, one here you need to see in person. The colors there are actually quite rainbow through it, which is um, quite good for 120 bucks. Looks like a nice Bernardo Pora there um, and some decent Duncan colonies. All right, here we are, the final $120 tank, and then we'll move on to the fish. Look at these big pieces up here. Good assortment from uh, Favides through to Chalice to some more Scullies. I quite like uh, one of those uh, Master Great Scullies up there with the uh, purple UFO ring. Good big size Blasto colonies there. Some pretty ultra Blastos too, I must say. Good, uh, very contrasting colors. Some more Gonies, some of the higher end ones there from your Glitters to your Pinks to your Peaches. Um, some small, some large, some pink, red, blues, greens. Great assortment of uh, gonies there. But uh, moving on to the fish, let's have a look at what we've got. I'm not going to go through all of the fish in massive detail, but I will take the camera around most of the tanks so you can see the stock that is in because there are some pretty cool things in from your uh, basic schooling blue-green chromis with some coral beauty angels in there. Got some uh, yellow-lined cardinals in there with a few different assorted wraps by the looks. Marginal butterfly, I'm pretty sure, because he's got one strap less than and a copper band, big chocolate goby in the corner there. Check out this guy up here. He looks like such a beautiful, cute little nano fish. I assure you he gets a good two, three foot long, let's say, yeah, sweet lips. In this system, we've got a lovely convict tang. Uh, looks like a goat fish, a little flame hawk sitting down there. Maybe some Vanderbilt chromis in there as well. Um, this guy here, I would have to check. Is he a fang blenny? He could well be. Super, super cool unit. I haven't, I must admit, we have not actually got around to putting the tags on the tanks to identify what the fish are and what they're worth. So I am flying a little blind, but bear with me. Valentini Puffer there. We've got some uh, lemon damsels, I believe they are. Blue Tang, Bicolor Angel, uh, nice clown. You see those lemon damsels doing what damsels do. Got a uh, zebra angel fish there. Pretty cool fish. Some more uh, blue tangs. Looks like maybe a Labuti wrasse in the background there. In fact, uh, yeah, some of those fish have been priced up. So uh, Mark is doing well. It's been quite busy in store while I've been filming this. Uh, we've got some copper band butterflies there. Nice harlequin tusk. Trigger in the background, Moorish Idol, another Zebra Angel. In fact, it looks like you've got a, uh, I think that's a male and female in there, so that's pretty cool to see. The uh, trigger's keeping busy along the back wall. Heading down to this system, I'm not sure what that Ras is. Is he, uh, I'm going to say Christmas Ras? Dave will assure me that I've got that wrong in the morning because Ras is the absolute worst thing um, for me to identify. But there is a long nose Hawk, some uh, beautiful... Uh, uh, Coral Beauty Angels, Dwarf Angels, and uh, there are so finally some Six Lion Rass in. I know a number of customers have been chasing Six Lion Rass, and uh, Dave does have quite a few in stock now, so we'll be able to sort that out for you. This system's got some pretty cool fish in it. This uh, big saddleback uh, butterfly in here is such a uh, unique fish. Got a beautiful uh, scribbled angel fish in there as well. Harley Contusk, a uh, lyre tail hogfish. And this dude down there, he's going to be some sort of cod. I'm not sure exactly what type of cod, but um, he's going to get big and angry, no doubt. Uh, down into this system, we've got uh, some Vanderbilt Chromis, uh, puffers, looks like uh, some angels, few different assorted fish in there. Over here, we've got uh, some bicolor anthias, a uh, nice long nose butterfly there. Looks like a little Indian, uh, uh, Indian bristle tooth. Good, good, uh, cool. I love the colors of those bicolor anthias. Super cool fish. Uh, up here, this Blenny, we're not 100% certain. I think he might be a Midas Blenny. He's just getting his gold back in. Nice convict tang there. Looks like a uh, mimic tang as well. A couple of mimics of the yellow variety. Heading over here, always a uh, favorite of mine is the dog face puffers. Such a uh, beautiful specimen, this guy with the uh, white and black coloration. And uh, moving on to the next tank, Heading down here, we've got uh, some more Coral Beauties. Uh, looks like uh, I'm going to go with Lemon Peel Angel. I'm going to probably be wrong on that, though. Uh, we've got uh, some uh, Anthias down there. Nice uh, Blenny sitting on the ground as they do. Uh, looks like we've got some Dispar Anthias in here. Beautiful little Regal Angel as well. That's a nice small one there. Uh, another Labuti, Flamehawk, huge, some more cleaner rats, huge assortment of Dispar Anthias in there. Check out the size of that uh, Blenny. He's an absolute beast. And um, that guy is super cool. Some sort of, maybe some sort of rats. We've got uh, another big Regal Angel, some Blue Tangs, another Butterfly there. 
blue tangs are getting a little bit jeered up from the camera so I might keep moving not to uh, stress them too much and uh, over to the other side of the store here let's have a look what we can find we've got some more uh, butterflies looks like uh, some fire gobies a couple of assorted rats in there scooter blennies bangai cardinals let's see some assessors in there both uh, the yellow and blues or are they blacks the blues and blacks I think are kind of the same thing but uh, some assessors in there nonetheless Heading up into this system here, got a great uh, mixed range of uh, fox face in here from a small to a medium size, I guess, probably not massively large. There's a pretty small one down there. Uh, let's see what we can find over here. We've got some damsels, filefish, uh, some pretty cool designer clowns back there. Heading down into the next system. Uh, let's see, oh, another marginal butterfly, a nice, beautiful pair of clowns there. Blonde lipstick, uh, looks like another scooter blenny in the back around there. Emperor Angel, over into the next system, big grass in this system here, <laughs> a few big grass for uh, predator style systems because uh, you can see the size of them there, absolute beasts. Uh, a little scopaz in with them as well, which is funny, your lionfish up the back there goatfish as well and we're getting towards a little bit more of the predator style systems lovely uh, blue throat trigger there super uh, g'd up looks like some uh, damsels as well the uh, harlequin tusk in the background still just settling in he's just come out of the bag and uh, down here we've got uh, some more damsels a uh, nice couple of oh, look at those clowns in there absolutely gorgeous um, and some other larger fish there. Those uh, yellow guys, I think they're perch. Um, definitely going to get a little bit large in the system. There is a uh, nice Tamini tang there. There was also a trigger up the top. We've got some more filefish. Beautiful angel there and another Tamini. Very, very nice indeed. Some nice uh, sail fins, some smaller, um, absolutely smaller uh, fox face there. Some damsels, nice, uh, another yellow mimic, some banner fish. Pretty sure that's a rusty angel. Uh, some more fox face and a uh, zosters butterfly, which is kind of like the pyramid butterflies, but uh, he's got black instead of yellow on him. Some nice, uh, another looks like another rusty angel. Magnificent fox face. Um, See, oh, check out over on the side here. There's big, big, um, crazy sized uh, Mandarin in there. He's, uh, it's hard to show the size of him, but trust me, he's quite large. And then over here, there's some beautiful uh, wrasse in there. Absolutely gorgeous the way they swim with that top fin just uh, gently waving away there. Uh, looks like a, a possum wrasse in there, a, a Cuban hog. Um, yeah, nice assortment. I quite like a lot of these rats, but uh, for some reason, they don't seem to do all that well in my system. There's some more six lines in there, slightly larger ones. That one in the corner is absolutely beautiful rats. Uh, some blonde lipsticks. No shortage of fish in store, and um, I think with all of the corals that are here, I don't think you'll be too disappointed. So um, I would love it if you guys headed in. I'd love to go through the rest of the fish and coral with you and um, maybe even sell you one or two of my prized frags. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the release of my first ever batch of Parker's Reef Frags for sale, as well as a tour of the incredible stock that Deer Park Aquarium have in today. I'm just about to jump in my car now because I will be working there all day today and I look forward to seeing you all there. So please head on in, even if you're not in the market for one of my uh, high-end frags, I'd love to see you and have a chat about your reef tank. So head on into Deer Park Aquarium and I'll have a chat to you there. Other than that, guys, you got any questions, comments, feedback at all, please pop it in the comments comment section down below because I do personally reply to each and every comment there. And if you're not one of the near 22,000 subscribers of the channel yet, I highly recommend you jump on board. It costs no money at all and takes two seconds of your time. And it does personally help me out a huge amount if you can subscribe to the channel. So click that button in the bottom corner down there and it will ensure you do not miss out on any future videos. Like tomorrow, we're doing a tank tour of Henry's absolutely hectic water box aquarium. You don't want to miss that one at all. Anyway, guys, I've got to stop rambling. I've got to get in the car and get to work. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.